copyright strikes. Hey, hey, y'all. How's it going? Happy Tuesday. Hey, hey, no, this is not. The heck, girl? No. Turn off this sound. Let me turn on my Do Not Disturb. Okay, let's get it going. Hi, hello. Please, as you come in, um, say hi in the comments so I can greet you properly because Facebook doesn't let me see who's watching unless you say hi. And I love saying hi to you guys. Hey, Tanya. I love saying hi to you guys individually. Because you take the time out to come hang out with me. And I appreciate you. Um, hey, Whitney. How you doing, doll? Um, ooh, I want to say hi to my mom and my dad and my sister and my family members who watch, my friends who watch, and to all you guys out there. Um, all right, let's go to Instagram now. How was your day, everybody? Anybody got some good news they want to share? Your day was good? Good. Awesome. Why go live? Okay. Um, yes, if you got good news, share it. I want to hear it. Um, good news for me, uh, I talked to, well, I communicated with Nessie time today and I've decided on a number count for the shirts and the, and the mugs. So our first drop is going to be 30 shirts. Um, so, you know, get them when they come, because once those 30 are done, you know, that'll be that drop. And then we'll move on to something else. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, Whitney said, my little dude is home from the hospital and doing so good after the needed med changes. Woohoo! Yeah, Brayden! Uh-huh! We'd love to hear good news. Yes. Good vibes over there. All right. Uh, Mike gets to go home from the hospital tomorrow. Yes. We, we speak it into existence. You going home tomorrow. Yes, Tanya. You going home tomorrow. Wait, why are you in the hospital? Why'd you go to the hospital, Tanya? Um, why are you in the hospital? All right, we're getting started in two minutes, but I'm telling you, I'm giving you two minutes to let me know what's going on. What's going on, girl? Um, tonight, we have stories about clowns. <laughs> um, Instagram is suing yet another app. Uh, and there is some news for those of you who are still hemming and hawing about getting your trademarks together. Uh, and a New Balance story if we have time to get to it, all right? So we are getting started in just one minute. Make sure that you share this out to your friends at 8.05. Um, yes, I'm trying to think. Ooh. I've had this, like, almost headache, headache brewing all day, and it refuses to go away. Um... It's cool though. I'm here. Oh, uh, excuse me. They made a yesterday call. Okay, I'll call you after. All right. Um, so let's get ready to rock our stories. Mm -mm -mm. Can't wait to talk to you guys about these. Uh, yeah. Ba -ba -uh. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. We're creating a vibe of learning. <laughs> All right, it's 8.05. Let's get started, everybody, okay? I'm hitting 
the record button. So start sharing this out to your people now. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to NPL Legal Dish. This is my Monday through Thursday live broadcast where I teach business and legal concepts using pop culture and celebrity news. If you uh, don't know who I am and you're like, who's this lady? I'm Natalie Pierre-Lewis. I am the host of the show and I am also the owner and operator of NPL Consulting LLC, a business formation firm. What that means is I help people like yourself, people who want to start businesses. I help you get your business paperwork together. So things like getting your business registered with the state, making sure you have appropriate contracts, getting EIN numbers and DUNS numbers so you can start building business credit and, you know, becoming vendors with big box stores, um, hiring policies so you don't get sued for discrimination and brand protection strategies so people don't steal your business ideas. I help you do all of those things. If you are wondering why I'm qualified, I'm very happy that you asked. I'm a licensed attorney. I have been one for almost 15 years. Uh, with a specialization in business formation. I've started multiple businesses for myself and others, both online and offline. I've had many careers in the realms of entrepreneurship, the law, education, hospitality, and administrative support. And most important, I'm very passionate about making business and legal education as accessible to everyone as possible. Not everybody has the time, the money, or the desire to go to business school or to law school, but a lot of you have amazing business ideas, and if you're going to be successful, there are just some things that you need to know, okay? So that's why I'm here. So if you're in the startup phase of your business, or if you're thinking about starting a business and you don't know where to start, or if you've been in business and you're like, I need to get some structure together because I'm just all over the place, I'm the girl that you want to call. I'm the lady, you know? Call me. Let's talk. Um, go to linktree forward slash MTL consulting firm and book a free 15 minute consultation if you're a first time client. Uh, we also have Talk to Me Tuesdays where you can get a 25 minute session for $25 uh, between 10 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or you can book a full coaching session uh, which starts at 247 all right. You can also at Linktree forward slash NPL Consulting Firm, you can download the free biz launch cheat sheet that will help you choose and start your dream business in seven days or less. You can also find a lot of my um, video trainings at Linktree forward slash NPL Consulting Firm. Hey, 76 Grim K, like my EIN training, my DUNS number training, my operating agreement training, my protect your biz training, where we talk about brand protection through patents, trademarks, and copyrights. Uh, and also my business startup basics, where we go through the initial steps of what it takes to be a real business owner and how you do that. Okay, so Linktree forward slash NPL Consulting Firm, that's where you want to go to connect with me. It's also where you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel um, and the podcast. In case you can't make the live, you can always watch uh, the replay, okay? Because uh, I think we've got more than 300 videos on there by now. Okay. But yeah, but that is enough about me and the business. Let's get to the reason why we are here on tonight. Tonight, uh, we are here for the live show, and this is how it works. I pull stories from the news, stories that you guys send me, stories I find on blog sites, and I pull the ones that have lessons that we can learn as business owners and entrepreneurs, and we discuss them. So this is a time for you to get involved. Don't be shy. As long as your questions and comments are respectful, they are welcome here. All right. So uh, we are going to get started right about now. So get ready, get ready, get ready. Day. All right. All right. First story that we have for tonight. Um, so I posted this in my stories earlier this afternoon. I asked if you guys like clowns. Um, and I, it was 50, 50 in, in the, in the poll on Instagram, but I want to know from you guys here is, does, uh, how do you feel about clowns? If you like clowns, give me a clown emoji. If you don't like clowns, give me the thumbs down emoji. So if you like clowns, give me the clown emoji. If you don't like clowns or if clowns freak you out, give me the thumbs down emoji. Okay. All right, because um, I found out some really interesting news about the clown industry today. No, no, y'all don't feel one way or the other about clowns. That's okay. Um, I, 
how do I feel about clowns? Do I like them? I wouldn't say that I dislike clowns, but they're not necessarily my favorite thing either. But you know, clowns are cool. Go out and get your money. Um, what I found out today that was so interesting was that um, clowns actually... Um, hold on. I got thumbs down from both Whitney and 76 Grimka. Y'all don't like clowns? Okay. Why don't you guys like clowns? Um, anyway, why y'all tell me why you don't like clowns. If you didn't know, clowns are very particular about their faces, the faces that they paint on to be a clown. So much so that clowns actually trademark their faces um, so that other people who want to get into the clown industry can't copy them. Uh, Whitney said it's freaking creepy. <laughs> ah, well, this might creep you out even more. Um, so clowns, in order to protect their clown faces, because they do, they, I guess, you know, they create unique ones for their characters. Um, they trademark them. How do they do this? They draw their faces on eggs and then they trademark that image for their brand. And there is actually an entire museum in London that has like basically just rows and rows of eggs with clown faces painted on them. And all of these, it's kind of like a, um, it's kind of like a database of clown faces. Uh, and I thought this was really interesting. I didn't realize that the clown industry was so territorial. Um, but I think this is a very ingenious way to protect something that isn't necessarily protected. Because I'm thinking about, you know, what if I'm a makeup artist and, you know, makeup artists can't really protect a face that they make. And putting on clown makeup is putting on a clown face is putting on makeup. So the clown industry has found a very unique way to protect their intellectual property within the clowning industry. So I just thought that was a very interesting story. Is anybody interested in going to the London Museum and going to see these clown faces painted on eggs? If you're interested in that, give me a thumbs up. Now that's not my thing. You know, too many, I can take a clown or two. I don't know if I'm ready to see a whole, you know, room or row or whatever of clown faces. Um, Whitney Ann said, neither did I. Clowns are a lot more serious than I ever knew. Yes, we need to, we need to put some respect on the clown industry's name. <laughs> Whitney, you're going to pass. You're not going to go to the museum in London. That's all right. I'm probably not going to go either. But uh, I thought that this was a really interesting factoid to know because, you know, some, it, depending on your industry, sometimes it can be hard to establish your uh, intellectual property. And the clowning industry has found a way through this very unique method of painting the faces on the eggs. Uh, 76 Groom K is not going to the museum either. That's fine. I ain't going either, but I will give props to the clown industry for finding such a unique way to protect their individual faces. All right. Um, ooh, excuse me. I've had tension in my neck all day, guys. I need to do some yoga. Um, all right. But, you know, moving on from clowns. Uh, next uh, little fact, what I want to let you know, those of you who are still kind of on the fence about trademarking, whatever it is that you want to trademark or protect, I want to let you know that uh, trademark fees are rising come January 2021. Uh, I just read a story today, you know, they were probably planning on rising in 2020, but with the pandemic, everything slowed down, but the USPTO, they're getting back on their feet. So if you are considering uh, trademarking, you may want to consider doing it before the end of 2020 because trademark prices are going up. Okay. All right. That was just a little thing that I wanted to tell you. Hey, Sincere39. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I'll just repeat it for you since you just came in. I was just telling everybody that, um, if you are considering trademarking anything, uh, you may want to do it within the next month and a half because trademark prices are going up come January, 2021. All right. 
Okay. Um, I think we're going to move through our stories rather quickly tonight, even though we have four of them. Uh, and if we do, we will move into Q and A, but, uh, just in case, you know, start getting your questions ready. Okay. All right. Uh, next story we have. So was it yesterday? No, last week I had a story about Instagram, um, suing or opposing a trademark application. Yes. So last week we had a story about Instagram opposing a trademark application for an app called Instacarma, right? Um, and Instagram, they look, Instagram, they are zealous about protecting their brand, right? Instagram is suing yet another app. Uh, Instagram is suing an app called Thriftagram. What is that? Instagram is suing an app called Thriftagram. Um, Thriftagram is an online retail store. Um, they're trying to trademark the name Thriftagram for online retail store services, clothing, household goods, um, electronics, and books. Uh, they started using this name Thriftagram in uh, December of 2018 first. Um, but the business was dissolved in June, in June of 2020. So I don't know if the pandemic got to them and, you know, they didn't survive, but this business is no longer in, uh, operating, but they still have this application pending and Instagram is opposing the application since it 39 said Zuckerberg is not playing. No, he is not. Mark Zuckerberg said, look, I need all my money. All right. They got me going to congressional hearings. I need to buy these suits. Um, so no, I'm going to oppose your applications. So Instagram, they are uh, opposing the application of Thriftagram, even though Thriftagram has dissolved just because your business dissolves doesn't mean that your application dies. If you no longer want to trademark something, you need to withdraw your application from the USPTO because otherwise they're going to go forth with, you know, the whole process. So Instagram, because the application has not been um, withdrawn, even though this company uh, was dissolved in June of 2020, they are still opposing the application because they don't want to uh, the chance of it passing. Okay. Um, on top of the fact that Instagram has a bunch of their own trademarks in related industries, Instagram, I have seen a lot of, um, a lot of comments by people saying that uh, Instagram has turned into an online flea market. Instagram is where you can shop for a lot of things. So there is obviously there, there is some confused. There could be some confusion here if Thriftagram was still in business. All right. Uh, Instagram also does payment services. So Instagram is like, look, we offer shopping on our app too, whether it be through third party apps or not. So allowing this company to trademark Thriftagram would cause confusion and dilute the Instagram name because people are going to think that Thriftagram is associated with uh, Instagram. So I want to know from you guys, we know that Thriftagram, they're not in business right now. They dissolved in June of 2020, right? Instagram is still opposing this application. Do you think Instagram is doing too much or are they just being, you know, doing their job to zealously protect their brand, even though this other company has since been dissolved? Are they doing the right thing by continuing to, um, to oppose this application for the word thriftogram? What do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? Hey, hey, what do you guys think? Y'all are a little quiet tonight. It's okay. It's all right. What y'all think? Do you think that Instagram is doing too much or, you know, with thrift by opposing thriftogram, even though they're already out of business or are they just do following the proper protocols of, you know, they don't want to risk this word being trademarked because what if thriftogram tries to come into business again, right? What do you think? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Um, 
Whitney Hand said they are doing the right thing because the owner of the trademark could restart at a later date. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, 76 Cream Case said, yes, Instagram is protecting Sprint. Absolutely. Just because Thriftogram has dissolved, you know, right now doesn't mean that they might not restart later. So Instagram is definitely doing the right thing by protecting their brand. Um, since 39 said, yeah, IG has to show that it's not safe on these trademark streets for other companies. Absolutely. Instagram is like, look, we have the lockdown on Insta, you know, and everything people are like, do it for the gram, you know, Insta, whatever. And Instagram does not want their name to become, you know, just kind of generic. That's why they are so zealous about going after any other apps or companies that want to use Insta or Gram in the name because they know it's popular, because they know it's easy. They need to make sure that their name stays Stay, stays unique. It's just like Chanel. When you have, um, Chanel puts out a notice every quarter or so telling people that Chanel is a registered trademark. It is not a generic word because you have a lot of people out here who like to use the term Chanel inspired for their knockoff, um, for their knockoff goods, right? And Chanel is letting y'all know out here that sh the Chanel name is protected. So be careful how you use it in these business streets, okay? So good job to Instagram. They are protecting their, their brand against Thriftogram. All right. Um, and good job, Whitney, with that answer. Yeah, they are absolutely right for pursuing the opposition, even though the company has dissolved, because just because they've dissolved doesn't prevent them from restarting later. Okay. All right. So uh, we're going to take a quick break before we move on to our final story of the evening, and then we'll probably move into Q&A. But um, I want to remind you guys that you are watching NPL Legal Dish. This is my Monday through Thursday live broadcast where I teach business and legal concepts using pop culture and celebrity news. I'm Natalie Pierre-Lewis, a licensed uh, business formation attorney with a passion for helping entrepreneurs achieve their dreams. If you are in the startup phase of your business and you need help getting on the good foot, figuring out how to you know get this business legit, you want to talk to me, go to linktree forward slash MPL consulting firm and con connect with me today. I am waiting to hear from y'all. Okay. All right. Let's move on to our final story of the evening and then we will move on to Q and A. Um, if you have heard of New Balance sneakers, New Balance, the shoe company, please give me a sneaker emoji. If you are familiar with New Balance, please give me a sneaker emoji. If you know what New Balance is, oh, excuse me, <laughs> give me a sneak. That ain't a sneaker emoji, sincere, but I'll take it. You gave me an NB, okay. Oh, gosh, hold on. Thank you, 76 Green Cray, y'all. I just got the hiccups. Okay. So we've heard of New Balance, right? Um, if Has anybody heard of the shoe brand Balance Athletica? If you have heard of Balance Athletica, thank you, Sincere, uh, give me a B-A in the comments. If you have heard of the shoe brand, Balance Athletica. Give me a BA in the comments. Sincere39 said no. Um, 76 Grimk said no. Uh, Whitney, I'm going to assume that you're driving and we're going to say that that's a no. Um, okay. Well, um, while you may not have heard of Balance Athletica, New Balance has, and they are, uh, filing trademark, a, a trademark infringement suit against Balance Athletica. If you didn't know, New Balance's full business name is New Balance Athletics. Now, remember, New Balance Athletics versus Balance Athletica. New Balance is opposing Balance Athletica's application to trademark and the use of this word 
because they're saying it infringes on New Balance's trademark. The fact they 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 are particularly honing in on the fact that they use Balance in the name, right? So New Balance Athletics versus Balance Athletica. If you were in a shoe store and you saw a shoe called New Balance and a shoe called Balance Athletica, would you think that they were um would you think that they were related? Would you think that they were under the same brand? Because this is the argument that New Balance is saying. They're saying, look, in the sneaker game, we have the word balance on lock. So this other shoe company, Balance Athletica, with their sneakers, they need to they need to change their name because we are the only balance shoe allowed in the athletic sphere. What do you think about that? Do you think that New Balance Athletics and Balance Athletica have a possibility of being confused with each other. Sincere39 said maybe. Does anybody, is anybody less on the fence? Does anybody have a definite yes or a definite no? I, for one, um, I think that, I, I don't necessarily think that I would confuse them because one, when I, a New Balance, they're, they're a particular style of shoe. Now, I don't know what Balance Athletica shoes look like, but New Balance sneakers have a very particular look. Now, if I'm just looking at the names, yes, the names might confuse me. If I didn't know what these shoes were, if I had no idea what they look like. But me as a person, I actually like New Balance shoes. I don't know if I specifically would be confused. 76 Grim K said, I would think so. So you think there's a possibility of confusion. Well, you are on New Balance's side then because they are like, look, it's only room for one balance shoe in these sneaker streets and we would like Balance Athletica to go away. So um, what do y'all think? Do you think New Balance is right? Should they should they go after Balance Athletica for trademark infringement? Or are they doing too much? Let me know what you think. Where's all my Facebook friends? Facebook is usually popping, popping. Um what do y'all think? Because uh I I it's like I I can see the confusion because of the names, but again, for me personally, because I know what new balance shoes look like. And I know what, you know, I just don't think there'd be confusion for me. Um, 76 Grim K said, yes, I love New Balance. Go after them. Okay, girl, you are a New Balance soldier. Anybody else? Does anybody have an opposite opinion? Anybody think that New Balance is doing too much and let Balance Athletic thrive? Um, I think New Balance is doing the right thing. While there, is, while I'm not fully convinced that there is a, um, a possibility of confusion, the fact that there is even a little bit of possibility, that's enough for New Balance to, to you know, say, hey, you know, our brand might might be threatened by this um, by this other rival sneaker brand. So I think it's very smart of them to, you know, protect their uh, Balance name out in these sneaker streets. Okay. Um, so if one of y'all see if you can Google balance athletica shoes and let me know if they look similar to new balance. Okay. Send me the picture or something. Um, but yeah, but those were the stories that I had for you this evening. Now, even we had four stories and we went through them very, very quickly. So we have about seven minutes to spare. Okay. So, uh, we can take this time and I can answer your business formation questions or you can ask me, you know, random questions about stuff in the news, about stories that we covered this week or last week. Remember yesterday we talked about um, Samantha Barbash and the Hustlers movie. Uh, we talked about Trump being sued for copyright infringement for Electric Avenue, um, Target and Atari settling. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Also... Uh, if you want to ask me about business formation, we can talk about DUNS numbers, EIN numbers, brand protection strategies, different types of contracts that you need, depending on your industry, um, hiring policies that you need, uh, what, reg how to register your business with the state. These are the questions that I can help you resolve, okay? I um, also want to remind you, I'm getting these shirts in. I just talked to Nessie today. We're getting in an order of 30. Um, we're finalizing the orders by the end of this week, um, finalizing uh, the the order by the end of this week so I can get them shipped to me. Um, so we're going to have 30 shirts. Uh, some we're gonna, They're coming in blue, 
black and white. The blue, they're going to look like this, but they're going to be crew neck with this uh, color logo. The black is going to have a, the black shirts are going to have a white logo and the white logo, the white shirts are going to have a black logo. We're also getting the mugs in. We're going to have these mugs. There's only going to be 30 mugs. So if you want the merch when it comes in you got to hop on it because that's going to be the first drop and once the first drop is done that style is done i'll be moving on to another style um okay uh but yeah if you guys have questions now's the time to drop it we have five more minutes uh remember to go to linktree forward slash npl consulting firm and book your uh sessions with me go check out the video trainings uh make sure that you have downloaded the free biz launch cheat sheet um, since here 39 said they don't sell shoes at all. Huh? Okay. So I'm going to have to look them up. Um, balance athletica. What do they sell since here 39? What do they sell? Um, that is very interesting. So we might have to come back to this new balance story because since here 39 said the balance athletica doesn't even sell shoes. Um, they sell apparel. Okay. Does new, but new balance sells apparel. New balance sells clothes. I know they at least sell hoodies. Um, okay. So, you know, I, either way, I think new balance is very justified in, um, in going after this, uh, this, this trademark. Okay. Um, yeah, but, uh, if you guys don't have any more questions, then we can close out for the evening. Um, come back tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, see, New Balance does, does make clothing. Okay. Come back tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for more stories. If you find anything interesting that you would like me to talk about, please DM it to me. I love it when you guys send me stuff. It's, you know, it lets me know that you're involved. Um, keep your, keep your eye out for the merch. It is coming. I'm very excited. It's my first merch drop. Me and Nessie Time are working hard to get these things out to you. Um, yeah, but that's where I'm going to leave you guys. Have a wonderful evening. Take care of yourselves and I will talk to you later. Bye.